Hi all, Hal here, and with more 7 Days to Die Valmod Edition. And as you can see, I have been slowly struggling my way through the desert. It looks like I finally hit a cold patch. Uh, we're only down to about 110 now. And I am uh, fortunate in the fact that I have just found a place that hopefully will be able to stay for the night. We will see how this all plays out. So I just want to say happy Friday, everybody. Hope you uh, had a fantastic week. And uh, that you've got some, hopefully, good things coming up for this weekend. I know I myself will actually be uh, out of town this weekend. So we will have the live stream tonight. And then uh, the expectation is, is that I will mainly be out of town for oh, pretty much all day Sunday and uh, come, be coming back on Monday. Let's see. Let's go ahead and throw you over here. Throw you over here. Let us make purified water. Oh. Did it not let me get my uh, sleeping bag back? I guess not. All right. Well, that's not good. Nope, you're not dead yet. You didn't turn into a sports bag. Okay. So yeah, so um, basically my, my weekend's going to be a little hectic because I do mostly pre-record episodes so that uh, I have my week available so I can take care of things like my schoolwork. Uh, you know, as some of you probably know, I am actually between jobs right now, so I've been doing my whole looking for things career-wise. Um, and all of this actually does play into how I spend my days, so. Alright, so, let's see here. Come on. And basically, I'm just looking for a place to hold up for the night, because we're at 1700 already. And I do want to basically have some place that I can call my spot. You are locked. Hmm, it would be nice. Can I get in there? No, oh, don't repair it. Sheesh. See, I have twitchy fingers. Alright, so. Man, I'm, I miss the days when you could just like crawl through once oh, these little spots like that oh we can oh MREs good find now we're gonna take that out and then what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do the same thing we did in the other house we're gonna take the stairs out use chairs to get us up there and uh, well, this is gonna be a little bit of work But basically what I'm doing is I don't want to have to be uh, running from zombies all night, so. I'm going to go ahead and do a quick cut right here, finish up the uh, the prep, and I will bring you all back shortly. <laughs> See you in a minute. And we're back. And basically, as you can see, I went ahead and just took out the rest of the stairs down there. I uh, had to crack open the door, came in here, and there wasn't a whole lot in here, unfortunately. The bookcase was empty. Um, I think I found one painkiller between everything over here. And then this guy had some magnum parts. Yeah, so. Uh, fun, fun stuff. All right, so. We've basically found our place for the evening. We have gotten our temperature down, thankfully. And what we're going to do is I'm going to get a few things set up. Uh, we have so the study desk is always a nice thing to have mainly because it is fairly cheap to produce um, but it is nice because of the fact oh pardon me a little bit of a hiccup there um, but yeah it's nice because it is easy to produce it's fairly inexpensive and it has you know a lot of functionality for you because of the 
everything that you can purchase. Unfortunately, I don't think I have... Oh, I do have that. Let's see. What do I need for the forge? Oh, I need one more. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, my word. Okay, so let's drop off... Whoop. Let's drop off a bunch of this stuff that we don't really need to have on us. Uh, let's go ahead and drop that off. Oh, it's because it's full. Uh -huh. <laughs> Doesn't that figure? Okay, so um, we're going to drop... Actually keep that in case we run into any meat that we need to pick up. We'll keep that with us so we can potentially break stuff down if we need to. And this we are actually going to go ahead and put a couple of these up so we have some light in here. And we're going to put one more right there. Now, one of the things that I do want to do before I go exploring out too far... Did I put the grass over there? No, it's over here. So we're going to go ahead and grab the plant fibers. Let's make a sleeping bag really quickly. Bedroll. There we go. Just want one. We're going to throw this over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to throw a sleeping bag down in here so that in the case we do die, we don't, we're not trapsing all the way back across. Because, I mean, we have gone... Yeah, see, we would have been best just heading straight southwest at this point, it looks like. That's burning biome, burning biome, and we know that this is grassland, so it's probably burning biome up into the grasslands over here. Uh, yeah. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and throw this thing down here, because we don't really care so much, but we do need to see if we can find... <laughs> some things to improve our lot in life. So we do need at least one more survivor note, so it would be nice to find one of those. And this is going to be a quick hit and run kind of... Um, I don't have another... Alright. So we need to pick up two stones. Let's kill the zombie in the immediate area. That should be her. Awesome. Okay, so we've got a couple of a couple of minutes before that's going to be done. Let's see what's around in town. Because it's always good to know what's around here in your immediate area. And this looks like it's actually a pretty good residential area. Which means there should be lots of houses. Potentially lots of bookshelves. And of course, lots of zombies. Oh, that's not good. Yep, that would be a burning zombie. Oh, come on. Hey buddy, how you doing? And you can sit down. Thank you. That's the nice thing about the burning zombies is that they die fairly easily. Why do I feel like I've got one coming up behind me here? Oh, come on. We are running out of time here, folks. Okay. I still feel like I got one coming up behind me here somewhere. So one of the things that, you know, we do, a couple of people have commented on is that the zombies turning into loot bags thing. I actually like that because it means that they won't despawn like a regular corpse will. Because uh, the regular zombie corpses, you know, obviously turn into gore piles if you don't uh, harvest them fast enough. And that's, you know, really... 
really painful when you're trying to get things done because you just tend to run out of time sometimes, especially when you've got large numbers of zombies. So it is nice because it does allow you the chance to gain some more loot, and that was a treasure map, which we may actually use. Oh, yeah. So we need to... Uh... Oh, look at that. That was a nice find right there. Good wrench. Okay. There's all sorts of stuff in this town. More pistol books. We'll go ahead and read this. Take the paper. See if there's... Is this locked? Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be, right? And this is the nice thing about it, is when you get them down to broken... No, I'm not worried about any of that, because I can't use it. Because we really do not need pants in uh, this particular area. Okay, so we need to do this quick-like. Oh, grab the paper. Now, while I can't make shotgun shells, um, I can use the paper, so that's why I pick it up. I don't need that. I really don't want the random seeds. Seed packs we will take. Feathers we will take. Um, and the reason why I don't want the random seeds is because uh, you can get pretty much useless stuff in there. Well, I shouldn't say useless. It's You can get... Um, basically any seed that's in the game you can you have a chance of getting but you don't know until you plant it yeah we'll take it just because all right come on we gotta hurry really need a fire axe really need the forge book is what I really need because what you do is that once you have the forge book you basically just make a couple of forges take them with you, and then as you uh, roam around, you drop them as you need to. Alright, so let's... We need to worry about the high value areas. Kitchens are always high value because you get the, the empty bottles and cooking, utils, uh, cooking supplies, as well as food and water, obviously. Of course, as you can see, my loot luck has not changed. I always find things when I absolutely positively have to have them, but until then, I get crap for loot. <laughs> Alright, so come on. Now, some people don't realize or uh, don't think about it when until they see someone do it. Uh, a lot of times what you'll see me do is actually go through windows to get into places, especially if they have heavily armed or armored doors. Um, mainly because it's faster and it's harder for the zombies to get a hold of you that way as well because then they have to actually go through the doors or through the walls all right so we are almost out of looting time here oh thank you i can now scrap things oh so nice so nice and okay so i can now scrap all of my uh like if I have any, if I come up across parts or anything that I can't really use, I can go ahead and scrap it. Oh, there's a poppin' pills. What I really need is a tool time. Or, I'm sorry, they uh, working, st well, no, they don't call them working, do they still call them working stiffs? Maybe they're still working stiffs. And that would be a burning zombie up there. And there. Our zombies inside the garage, apparently. All right, so hey, buddy. All right, hey, K schematic. All right, this is actually turning into a pretty profitable uh, run here. So I'm, I'm not going to worry about the popping pills right now. What we will do is I'm going to. As we get closer to the evening here, I want to make sure of oh, the Kraken book. The Kraken book we are going for. Because we need the schematics. I hear people. Oh, there you are. Hey, you should have been dead. Oh. 
She picks the worst times to dodge. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Nothing. Painkillers. Okay, we're just gonna do a speed loot on this. I am not even, come on. I am not even gonna stop to see what we get. Hopefully. That looked like a salvage book, schematic. Do we have any more torches? We do have a torch, okay. Lots of paper. We should have a lot of zombies in this town. Oh, hello. Oh, come on. And that is a bad sign. Because that means I have to go loud, and I hate having to go loud. Nice of them to just stand there and take it, though. Anyone left over here? No breaking the bookcases. Oh, hello. That's not good. Okay. Come on. Let's get the rest of these. We'll get back over to our little area. So we are running seriously out of uh, time here. It's lots of good schematics. Okay. So we're going to read these, just to get them out of here. Come on. Come on. Wow, this takes forever to read these things now. And see, we got the forge schematics. That's a good thing. We can now make wrenches. Why am I not? Come on, read it. Thank you. Hunting knife book, even better. Why did you not read? Ah. You know what? Heck with it. We will worry about it when we get back to the... Come on. All sorts of things breaking around here. Because I am in serious trouble. Nice. Nice. Anything good? That's always good to find. Backup pistol. I have pistol skills, so I can actually uh, repair and... Come on. Okay, this thing takes way too long to... Uh... Okay, we're good. I just want to make sure I got all of these. All of these are empty. Yes, yes. Okay, so we're going to get the heck out of here. Let's head back to the... Oh, you know what? Let's see what else is over here. That That is... That looks like that is a tool store over there. Okay, so we're going to head back to our... Uh, our little base area. Since we've mostly secured the area up. While we are running, let's go ahead and use these because it will increase our weapon smithing skill oh man 
I need to make a bow. I don't know if I have enough lumber to make a bow at the ba at the base, so. Okay. Where did we go? We got turned around, okay. Oh man. Come on, we we cleared this area. have enough to pick up the barrel. So you hunt it? No. Okay. All right. And um, yeah, so that I think is going to be the end of this one. I'm going to go ahead and call this one here. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you do leave them down uh, in this, the area below the video. Uh, if you have if you haven't done so already, I do ask that you also uh, if you enjoyed the episode, make sure you do hit that like button. And if you're new here, make sure you're subscribing because the likes and subscriptions do help the channel to grow, but they also let me know that you're enjoying the content. And like I like to say, you know, if you're enjoying the content, you're going to get more of it. So I'm going to go ahead and get through all of this. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. And like I said, don't forget, we do have the live stream tonight at 7 p.m. U.S. Pacific, and it will be here on YouTube. So, yeah, uh, have a great weekend, everybody. As always, take care and be safe out there, everyone. Now we just have to survive the night. Oh. Alright, so let's go ahead and start making a few of these. Because we have a lot of jars. That is awesome. Okay. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and eat this. And hope that we don't run into any zombies. Oh.